Go. Hello, everybody. I'm Kelly. Today, I'm going to tell a story. The farmer, the son, and the donkey. One day, a farmer and his son were on their way to a nearby market town to sell their donkey. As they walked along beside the donkey, they met some young girls on the road. The girls began to laugh at them. Don't you to look silly, they said. Both of you are walking, and one of you could be riding. When the farmer heard this, he agreed. He helped his son up onto the donkey, and they continued on their way. Soon, there passed two men standing by the roadside. Just look at that, said one. The poor old man is walking while his son rides. He wants the boy up to be a sheep. So the, so the son got off the donkey and his father climbed on a rope. They had not gone very far when they passed, two, when they passed some old women. One woman said to the father, How dare you ride the donkey while that poor child has to walk? He must be exhausted. So the farmer left the boy up beside him and they both throw the rest of the road to the town. Finally, when they finally arrived in town, they passed a man who wanted to know if the donkey belonged to them. The farmer replied that it was their donkey. Oh, that poor animal is overworked, said the man. The two of you could carry the beast far better than it can carry you. So the farmer and his son got down, but they couldn't freak it out how to carry the donkey. Finally, the farmer had an idea. From a tree, he cut a thick branch to make a kind of carrying pole. He tied the donkey's feet on the pole with the ropes. And he and his son each carried one end of pole with a frightened donkey hanging between them. By the time they reached the bridge, a noisy crowd stood around watching them. The crowd laughed and pointed loudly. All the noise and laughter frightened the donkey. He began to kick and pull at the rope. Soon he got loose and fell into the river below. Since he couldn't swim, the donkey dropped. The farmer and his son felt very foolish. Slowly, they turned and started back home with no money and no donkeys. Thank you very much. Thank you.